and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. Uh, while we were gone, a lot of stuff has happened. Let me try to show you everything that I know. First off, I have a lot of health now. I'm over 200. Um, digging around, I found like three or four uh, crystal heart containers, so that's a big help. Another thing you might notice is my weapons. I have a gold sword, a gold pickaxe, which I guess isn't a weapon, and a gold bow, which, you know, it helps. Also, I now have iron pants, iron greaves, iron chainmail, and a silver helmet, and silver is one tier above iron. I had an iron helmet, but I had enough silver for the helmet, so I'm like, why not? Um, we figured out what's, what uh, silk does. Cobwebs turn into silk, and then you can either use silk to make a bed, which I have not done yet. I, I probably will later. Or you can sell it to the merchant for a shitload of cash, and that's good. Um, another item I found ooh, let me close up, is the cloud in a bottle. I found that in a chest in a, in a, down in the caves. Basically, see? It lets you double jump. Uh, it's not that high of a jump, but trust me, it helps. Um, I can also see before I used lesser healing potions. Now I have to use the glowing mushrooms and combine it to, with the healing potion to make a normal healing potion. Which uh, restores 200 life, which now is more of a help. Also, I expanded up here. Let's take a look. As you can see, I got two NPCs. I have the nurse and the demolitionist. And to get the nurse, all you have to do is collect one of those crystal hearts and have room for her. And what she does is, uh, I'm at full health so I can't show you, but... Like, for example, I'm at full health. Let's say I was at 200 health, then for 20 copper, she would heal me. So for every health you're missing, it costs one copper to fix it. The demolitionist comes after you use your first, uh bomb, which I have a couple of, and what he, ooh, I shot him, what he does is he sells grenades, which, from what I understand, they don't blow stuff up, it, it, it's like a grenade, but if it didn't make, you know, an explosion and blow stuff up, it's just for damage, bombs, and dynamite, which is like a super bomb, I don't have enough silver for it right now, because I, uh, actually, forget it, I think I do, I, I, I've been storing my money in another chest, so that way if I die, I don't have to, you know, go back or whatever. Uh, I'll put that money back. Let's buy one. And just to play with the dynamite. And I am really armed to the teeth here because we're going to go to a corruption area here. We got to die. Ah, let's buy another one there. Two dynamite. So, we'll get to play around with that a little later. Uh, I'm going to put my gold back. Um, I'll meet you guys back after I end up in the corruption area. But basically, I'm going to go out this door and walk left for a long time. So, I'll meet up with you guys back when I'm, uh, when I'm over there. See ya. Alright, and we are back. I'm not in the... Oh, see? I'm right here, I called it. It also sucks that right now it's nighttime. But... All the more exciting. Uh, when you get the, to the corruption area, it's this purple stuff on the top, and then as you can see, the stone down there is like a like a dark purple. Uh, the the sky and the clouds turn like orange. Um, what's this? I haven't seen this before. A vile mushroom. I don't think you can eat that. It looks. I'm just like, oh god, eater of souls. Now, I've only played around a little bit in the Corruption, so most of this is all brand new to, new to me. Like, the most I did was uh, I walked over here and I saw it, and I'm like, yep, I'm saving that for a video. One other thing is, this rock, even with a gold pickaxe, you cannot mine. Um, you need a, like a Hellstone axe or something, or a Meteor axe or something later on. This stuff hurts. It's like a... Uh, Barbed wire kind of thing. Ow, see? Now it's dark, so I don't know if we should go down and explore or stay up here. Because if we go down, I can't dig anything. Because, you know, my pickaxe isn't strong enough. There's a lot of these guys. I need an improved bow. 
<laughs> the bow is actually stronger than my sword. Ah. We'll try out the dynamite in a second. Oh god. Glad I have a lot of armor. Oh, do I have enough arrows? Ah, oh, shit. And one thing that I know about the uh, a corruption area like this is that in the caves you're more likely to find a demon altar. And what that is is you can't destroy it. Well, if you try to destroy it, it like takes half your health away or something. But um, once you have certain items, you can make uh, like sacrificial items that summon boss monsters. So I figure in a later episode, either the next episode or... In a couple from now, we're gonna try that. Oh god, there's so many of these guys. Okay, I, I, I gotta keep moving. I can't just stand here. Let's, uh... Like, I wanna... Can I make it? Yes! Oh god. Huh, I wanna try the dynamite, but I wanna try it on blocks that I know I can blow up. I mean, I don't know if my dynamite can hurt this stuff. Or the, the you know, the rock I can't find. Probably a bad idea to come here at night. Oh god, that is a deep drop. Actually, no, not really. See, they're like ledges I can use. Whoa, is that a hole? You know, all right. It's either now or never. Let's uh go. Oh, let's go down the other one since I at least saw there was. A ledge I can land on. Oh, what is that? That might be a uh, a shadow orb. And what that is is you kill it, and um, after you kill a certain oh whoa, that was a big worm. Oh shit! Heal. God. This guy has a lot of health. I'm sure I've done more than 90 damage. Oh, now that I think about it, it looked like each individual piece of him had health, like his tail or his head. I'm gonna try and see if dynamite blows this up. Oh god. Ooh, it does! Uh. What is this stuff here? I'll figure it out after I make sure my ass is safe for a while. I thought I picked it up. Ebonstone? That's scary. Well, dynamite makes a sizable hole. I don't know if it's worth 50 silver. I'm going to try my other dynamite. Or actually, here, I have bombs too. Let's try to blow up in there and get to that orb. Ah, shit. Okay, that does not work. Um, oh, good, the scary music comes. Um, let's make sure I'm somewhat away from the blast, because that was a big blast. Actually, here, if I make a little hole, then the dynamite won't bounce off too much. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, that was a shitty idea. Ah, uh, And this doesn't blow it up, does it? D does it? No. Looked like it did. Well, that's a shame. That really is a shame. Ooh, there's dirt. I could dig down this. Not far. Well, that sucks. Huh. If only I was able to get in there. I could just get more dynamite, but then that, that's gonna take... It's gonna cost a lot. Let's head back up. See what else we got. Ooh, a falling star. 
or fallen star, I should say, not a falling star. Hmm, should we explore down there? Nah. This one has, uh, wedges. Oh god, ooh. Oh god, not another big worm. No! Oh god, there's two of them. No! I'm trying to heal and stay alive. Oh no, no, no! I'm still alive. I don't know how. Oh, I'm almost out of torches, too. Look, see? That, that right there, that's a demon altar. Yeah, see, look, devour, tail, body. God, that's a bitch. Oh, I still got the same problem. I can't get there. Well, this is helpful for building my way out. Oops. Anyway, uh, I'm probably out of time, so stay with me, YouTube, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, get a tool to mine this stuff, or we'll get to the Shadow Orb or the Demon Altar or something, so stick around.